I want to show you a great SEO technique to create uh, weeks of content and you will like it especially if you have a SaaS product. So the idea is that we will analyze one feature of your SaaS and from this feature or this landing page we will extract seed keywords and from these seed keywords we will generate thousands of questions leveraging people also ask on Google search and as well related searches. And with all this data, all these questions, related searches, we will group them together, cluster them to create a content plan. Let me show you this step by step. So here we go. We have one SaaS product called La Grosse Machine and there are several features and which leads uh, multi-channel workflows and so on and we'll focus on one specific feature, the enrichment feature. And if I will be the owner of La Grosse Machine or the head of marketing, I guess my goal or strategy will be to create a lot of content around these features to yeah, being seen and visible by my audience uh, along that journey. So I will create a lot of content, right? A kind of topic cluster strategy that will support and highlight uh, one of my key features. So the first thing to do is to extract the content of this feature page. I copy paste URL and I use a free uh, tool uh, from through website text extractor. Here you enter the URL, you click here, you get the body text and you can copy the body text, the copy is here. Okay, now I have the body text. Of course, you can also just copy paste yourself the web page, but here you have a clean uh, body text. And then uh, the idea is to generate seed keywords because I don't have access to their search console or I know I'm not using Ahrefs. I have an alternative. I can use ChatGPT to build a list of 40 seed keywords. Uh, so here my prompt, given the following text, create a keyword for the main topic, potential user searches, pain points and questions. And here is the result. Okay. And this will be my initial list of 40 seed keywords. And now you will see that I will, from these 40 seed keywords, generate a lot of people also ask directly coming from Google search and as well uh, related searches. And by the way, I created a complete article about this process and you can find all the steps here. You will find the link to this article in the description below. Now I will use through to extract people also ask and related search at scale. There is a little trick here and you can use a clustering feature to do that. So what you can do, you can enter the list of keywords here. You enter your seed keyword. You select where are the keyword? Where is the column for volume? I have no volume here, but maybe you can have volume in your case. You upload it. So here you can see all the keywords generated by ChatGPT here with zero volume. Okay. And then you analyze, well, you define the SERP you want to analyze. Um, here in my case, it's a US SERP. You can also add a domain, but that this step is not really needed. And then you can start your process. So here, what you can see is the result of the clustering process of these 39 keywords. Okay. So we can find here, some keyword cluster with the main topic and all the related keywords. But we will focus later on on the keyword clustering tool. Right now, what we need is to get the report. So download the report. You will uh, get an Excel file. Let me open it. So here, what you can see is an Excel file. It's a report of the clustering process. We don't really care right now about the clustering process. What is really important is this tab, the question tab. Here, what you can find is people also ask. So for every single keywords that we uploaded initially, we will get four people also ask. So from 40 keywords, we get 126 people also ask. So 126 questions. And on top, we also get related searches. And also here we get a lot of related searches. We have like 117. Now what you have to do is to Take your initial keyword list that you can find under the keyword tab and 
copy all the questions and as well all the related search and you will end up with a long list of almost uh, well, I think more than 200 keywords let's see so I will copy now my uh, related searches and I have like 281 keywords okay I will put this tab first I will save and now what I will do I will start again the same process I go back to the cluster tool I upload this file I select this file I follow the same step keyword volume I upload and so here you can see 243 keywords the 40 initial keywords plus the related searches and the people also ask okay and we start again the process we will start the clustering process here you can see the second run so 243 keywords and all the cluster so now the cluster are a bit bigger or for sure because yeah we have more keywords more similar keywords and they are grouped together but we will continue we will do again the same step we don't know the report we uh, put together the initial list of, key of keywords plus the people also ask plus the related search i won't show you this step let's move directly to the result here you can see the list uh, of uh, topic clusters that i created our first batch with 39 keywords our second batch with 243 keywords and our last batch with 1500 plus keywords so you can see that just from from this initial list of 40 seed keywords we ended up in 1500 keywords and what's great is that through us put together all these keywords in uh, in the keyword cluster and now you can start to build your content plan how you can use it is that you can basically select your favorite uh, topic select them okay you want to speak about this you want to speak about that you select your favorite and the idea now is really to pick uh, topics and from every single topic we create a dedicated article right also you can play with the filter you can focus uh, on keyword cluster where the page rank page rank means basically the uh, if a page rank is high it means that there is a lot of competition of competition all right so it's like a kind of domain authority you can also uh, focus on keyword cluster with a low page rank so with less competition and like this you make your selection of of, uh, of article because you have a lot of ideas and this uh, let's say uh, uh, keywords are coming from google search from fresh data directly from the paa and from the related searches then at the end you can display only your favorite and you will have a list of potential new articles what is the multi-channel marketing model data enrichment tool what is audience segmentation in marketing alternative so this is one of my competitors you see also what is interesting here is that you might believe that just by using uh, people also ask or uh, related searches that it will only produce what you can call top of the funnel content or awareness stage content but you can see that as well it has uh, created or highlighted topics that are also bottom of the funnel or middle of the funnel so you can really build a great content strategy or great content plan um, uh, by following this, uh, this technique and to make the step further with through as well you can analyze a uh, keyword cluster so here i have one keyword cluster all right and you can click on this button and it will do a content analysis so there is seven keywords in this uh, in this keyword cluster so there is seven uh, google serp okay and through is creating an aggregated view so here what you can see here is an aggregated view of seven SERP and so this ranking here show in average with number one number two number three from that you get a lot of insights like the main uh, or the most frequent topics or terms used inside a page 
you can see as well an overview of all the outline. So here also you have another report, headings analysis. It will show you the most frequent headings used by your competitor and so on. You have a lot of information uh, directly in through that helps you understand how to structure your content. And the next step is to create a content brief. You can directly create content brief uh, with through. You can provide a lot of information to your writers. You can see that some information is already pre-filled and also you can even generate automatically uh, content online based on AI. So here through is analyzing your competitor and using AI to build a content brief. And finally, you can even share the content brief with a public link. This is a public link. And here you have a complete content brief for your writer containing information about your competitor and as well your uh, outline that we just generated. So let me summarize what we have done. Our goal was to generate a list of content IDs to support one feature of our SaaS. So we selected one of our key feature, we extracted the text. With this text, we asked ChatGPT to generate uh, seed keywords. You could have also used Google Search Console or Ahrefs or SEMrush for the seed keywords. Then we uploaded once the seed keywords into through. From every single uh, seed keywords, it has extracted people also ask and uh, related searches. We have put the initial list with the people also ask and seed and related search. And we started again the process. Okay, and now we end up with a list of keyword cluster. We have selected our favorite one. And here you can see I have like a certain article that I could continue. I could have like maybe 100 articles that will uh, provide uh, to my company, to my SaaS blog uh, content for several weeks. And again, with through, you can also analyze each single cluster and create content brief to share with your content writer. All right, I hope you like this guide. Let me know if you use that for your own strategy. Also check uh, in the description below, you will find a link to the detailed article showing step-by-step step how to reproduce this exact technique.